So let's add some soap to it. More mischief. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's covered in suds. Oh my god. <laughs> guess what, guys? I'm so sorry, but there's no way back home. Turns out we're here forever. And guess what? I saw a scary free headed monster. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another one of our Not So Berry episodes. If you are wondering where we are out in Granite Falls, it's so miserable. It is so miserable. It is because we were on a camping uh, little trip with the gang. However, it's kind of ruined by the fact that it's raining and the forecast. I've not done one of these weather reports for a while, so today is Saturday. We can expect, uh, despite the fact it's a big summer blow, thunderstorms all day with highs of nine degrees and lows of two. Basically, you've paid to go away and you won't even be able to enjoy going outside. There'll be no water fun. There'll be no barbecues and, to be fair, there could still be some drinking. But yeah, really not impressed with that at all. I mean, I'm hoping there may be a little bit of a break in the clouds because the whole point of coming to this like fun camping holiday was so that we could do fun camping stuff of which we've done absolutely none so far. We have done stories around the fireplace and we also did Lila's birthday. Zach is out here hitting himself in the head with a robot because that's just the way that Zach rolls. And I want to try and do some fun, exciting stuff. I feel like in particular, the kids might want to like bring back a little firefly in a jar or something cute like that. So we will try and make that happen, but it all depends on this terrible weather. The good news is that on Sunday, it's meant to be hot. There is meant to be a heat wave, but we shall see. Saturday, however, very dull. This is why I'm like, why does The Sims not have board games? Why is there not like a shelf here where I pull out like a tattered copy of Cluedo or something like that, you know? Everyone is sleeping except from, of course, Clem. She tried to sleep in the tent outside, but realized it's quite hard to sleep in a tent in the rain. And also, Zach is not in bed either. These two, obviously the twins, got to bed early, so they have the cool room. They've got, like, the kids' room with the little cute rug and the dinosaur bed and the star bed. Whereas, because Clem went to bed later with her annoying blonde hair, she has, like, the sad little, like, more grown-up room. But it is the book Big Summer Blowout, which is actually just an event that exists in Little Simsy Save. So we will try and enjoy our Frozen themed holiday. It is the big summer blowout, of course. Although, honestly, I don't... I don't know if it's gonna be easy in this horrific weather. And also, oh, we're all afraid of thunderstorms. Great, 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 great. Everyone has woken up freaking out, freaking out about thunderstorms. Have you never seen thunder before? Oh my gosh, Molly's hiding in the bed. Lila is running downstairs, terrified, and going to cook lobster tortellini. You love a good lobster tortellini, girl, don't you? Tyler is also terrified, having a scared bath where he was actually just hugging his knees there. Yeah, we're all really afraid of the thunder. So it's a good start. It's a great start to the week and of fun. Hopefully things get better soon. I mean, you're having lobster for breakfast, which is very bougie, so maybe they will improve. Although Molly's having cake for breakfast, Sims can't resist. If there's a cake, they're gonna choose the cake every time. I mean, why wouldn't you? Cake is pretty darn tasty. Royalties have come in. We're still earning good money. You guys pointed out in the comments, by the way, that the big household funds increase that we got that I thought was royalty payments, it was actually child support payment from Ty. I don't feel like we should get child support payment from Ty. That feels really messed up, but these are the game mechanics. Luckily, it won't actually like take it out of his account or anything, but yeah, we get child support payment payments from Ty. Feels wrong, feels very wrong. Oh, and what have we woken up to go and do? Scream incoherently. Awesome, that's really, really helpful. Good job, Clem. And now that she's over screaming incoherently, off to go have herself a little boogie, boogieing away the fear of the thunderstorms. Now, your sims can get struck by lightning, so it's kind of valid that they are afraid. However, I'm afraid of not getting to do any activities during our nice little holiday. So I need to find some fun indoor stuff for them to do. Tyler, you don't need to be in your school uniform. We are on vacation. I'm gonna change you back into your little very cool outfit. I love this outfit a lot. And is there like a group game? I can get them to do or anything. I feel like we need a group activity. I feel like when you go camping, this is kind of what you do. If it's rainy outside, you pull out like some board game to play or something. So I feel like we have to have something like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this downstairs bedroom and turn it into an activities room instead. So we've got a bit of ping pong in here. Uh, let's do some card games as well. And let's try and still have fun on our camping holiday because sometimes it's the rainy days where you all stay inside and like play a game together that actually end up being the fondest memories of the trip, you know? <laughs> and Ash has just turned up for some reason. I know Ash has a key to like our house, but for some reason that- oh, that is very cute. That counts as a key to our vacation house as well. That's just really 
odd. I don't really know why that's the case. We're gonna try and ask grandma for some cash because I feel like you always ask grandma for some sweets or something. You always try and get a little something out of grandma. Our grandma gave us $83. $83, which is pretty good. So yeah, grandma has come to join us on our camping trip. It's actually kind of cute. I actually quite like that. And I feel like Clem loves her grandma because she's decided to go and sit with grandma even though there was a table there next to Lila and the twins. She's like, nah, I want to sit next to grandma. Grandma's so cool. Thanks for my money, grandma. And they had that cute interaction when they met where she like got her little cheek thing and like pretended to like play fight her. That was very adorable. And um, where is Zach? I've, I've lost Zach, which is a bit concerning. Oh, Zach's upstairs. He's sorting himself out. Good lad. I don't think I've ever... This is bad. I don't think I've ever made my Sims play cards. I'm gonna get the kids to have a card game together. And the grown-ups can play... I mean, it is this big summer blowout. You guys can play Juice Pong. This is wild. I, I don't think I've ever made my Sims play cards. I've just never bought this table before and never made them play on it. I don't know why I have never done that. Because this this is very cute behavior. I love this. I feel like Clem would so cheat. Clem would a million percent cheat. Also, apparently, Ash is cheering for Clem. She would have like a spare set of cards that she like hid on the table and took out the one she wanted. She would just definitely try and cheat and like hustle everybody out of their pocket money. Just classic Clem behavior. And Zach would want to play properly, but Clem would rope him into the cheating and he would just go along with it because uh, that's how he is. And just because we're elders, oh, good shot, Molly. Doesn't mean we can't have a bit of fun. So these guys are having juice pong battles against each other. The rain is still very present though, but this is, this is, I don't know, cute. Cute energy going on here. How did you guys do with the card game? Does somebody get like a notification from winning? No, but everyone's very happy. Oh, but of course the fun had to come to an end and the wrecking had to eventually begin. Where do they just get barbecue sauce and flour out of their pocket from all the time? You're just honestly ruining a good time here. So we've said that uh, Lila's quite a strict parent. I am going to go ahead and say like, look, you're ruining a really nice vibe in here. The vibes were great until you came and ruined them. Thank you, Ty. You just go out of here. Time out time for you, kiddo. You're luckily I'm not grounding you because Lila's quite strict, but it's helping out Clem with her responsibility. And as soon as Clem gets grounded and can't speak to anyone, Ash is like, oh, okay, well, the, the fun kid's gone, so I'm a peace out now. Meanwhile, the non-grounded kids are having themselves a boogie in here. Zach enjoyed himself having a little boogie with the twins. He's like, wow, this is what it feels like when your friends don't constantly try and get you into trouble. This is so calm and relaxing, wow. And I really wanted to buy them a water slide, but it's just, it's too rich. Rainy. It's just too rainy. Oh, and she didn't even clean up her mess. Literally didn't even clean up her mess, did she? Lila's there, clean it up. You're meant to be the strict parent. You should be telling her to clean it up. Ugh. And it's almost Molly's birthday. <gasps> Who's got a... Lila's got a pristine reputation. Good job. And just became good friends. Oh, because these guys are all playing a card game together. That is very cute. Clem is outside playing in the rain in the tent. She's just... The rain has stopped. The rain has actually only gone ahead and stopped. Okay, tomorrow's a heat wave, so I think it should stay dry. So I am gonna buy them the slip and slide thing because it's part of the big summer blowout. And I think they, ooh, we can add soap to it. Okay, yes, let's do that. Make it all bubbly. I feel like that's another little Clem prank that we've got going on. So let's add some soap to it. More mischief, oh my gosh. And look at all the little bubbles forming. Do they finish it all bubbly? I don't know, but we're doing some slip and slide together. Not all of us brought our swimsuits. Oh my gosh, she's covered in suds. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Why is your hair always blonde, Clem? I hate this. But yeah, we've got some very bubbly looking children now. Oh my gosh, be careful, Zuck. Your parents will be mad if we injure you. And we actually get to do the slip and slide, which I feel like is such like an important part of the Big Summer Blowout vibes. So there we go. Feels a little bit more like a vacation now. The adults got bored of it quite quickly, but the kids are still going, doing their little trick shots and stuff. I did see like Surin was nearby. So I invited him too. He just was happened to be walking by, but I, I can't see him unless this is him. <gasps> it is! Surin is here! Oh my gosh, Surin! I don't see you in ages! Let's have a look at you. How'd you look? Okay, worrying. Saj, that is a Saj Surin. I feel like we should go and check on Surin before he goes and gets- Oh no, no. He's gonna be Saj and bubbly now. Oh no. Oh, the bubbles have all got rid of. The bubbles are all gone now. Still, I want to make sure Surin's okay. Oh jeez. Well, he's not now because he's probably got 
A fractured coccyx. I don't know how seriously he's gonna take me with the bubbles. They've just melted, it's okay. I'm alright, Lila. I just have some things to deal with. Thank you for checking on me. Oh no. Oh my gosh, and the rain has started again. I hate it here. This is literally the UK. This is literally the UK. Okay, at least we got a little bit of time in the sun, I guess. Okay, let's try and take Siren's mind off things. Lila's decided to tell a ghost story. So we got stories from Clem last night, and the rain has started up again. It's all a bit sad again so we're gonna do a little ghost story around the fire to finish our saturday for tomorrow's heat wave okay the only people actually interested in the ghost story are ty and clem but we're gonna tell it all the same and i want to know why surin's so sad you truly have just inherited such some suchness haven't you surin oh complete 100 whims i am whimsical there we go and also we've learned that surin is unemployed I don't really, I like, I set Surin to be unplayed, but he just decided not to take over the reins and play his own life. He's not really ever done anything. He's never worked. He's never found love. He never has any gossip or news for us. I don't know. He just kind of exists. If I'm not playing you, Surin, you got to play yourself. That's the way it works. I mean, you have quite literally played yourself, but you should have, like, played yourself in a good way you know bit sad on Surin's behalf but this is our final night on our little vacay guys uh, so then we've got to head home so let's get butts into bed please influencing everyone to sleep Ooh, and today is heat wave day so we actually can do a bunch of the fun stuff that we've come here for in the first place so i'm gonna send the twins on a little hike you guys can go and explore the woods. Maybe what other activities? We can do a bit of fusion. Oh, when I say explore the woods, it literally takes them to the national park. I always forget about that. In fact, maybe all of us should go to Granite Falls National Park. Let's do that. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Because I still feel like Clem will want like a bunch of ooh, creepy crawlies. Oh my gosh, creepy crawlies everywhere in here. Love this. Yeah, I still feel like Clem might want some creepy crawlies to like bring home with her to put in her treehouse. So we're gonna gonna go catching creepy crawlies oh my gosh a mammal creepy crawly oh you're floating a flying squirrel there's also like the hidden world here as well can kids try that oh kids can explore that okay we may do a little bit of exploration then also, I feel like she's actually got on better with the twins whilst being on this holiday. So if we do manage to work our way through, I think we'll bring all the kids there. But for now, I'm going to send them uh, hiking together. Ooh, de definitely do wees first, though. So we've got a dragon dragonfly. Ooh, nice. And Lila caught a trout. Okay. A dragon dragonfly definitely sounds very cool. And so when you send them hiking, they like march around everywhere. Which is really cute. I like that. Having a little wonder in the great outdoors. We are going to step forward into adventure. Camille looks like she likes the outdoors. She's also got a leaf dress on, so it's very thin. Honestly, Tyler looks too trendy. Just too trendy altogether for the outdoors. But it's definitely very much enjoying it. And Clem has been attacked by a monster in the brambles. Okay, that is not what we wanted. Let's try that again. Luckily, she cloud gazes like autonomously before this, which means that she's so inspired that she doesn't notice how, like, freaked out she is by the monster. So, that's good. <gasps> and she's done it! Oh my gosh, that was so speedy! Would you like to send Clem into the deep woods? Yes, I would. <gasps> the Hermit's House! Also a perfect criminal getaway. Can I just put that out there? And I'm gonna bring the twins here as well. I kind of feel like Clem would prank them here. Like, she's- oh my gosh, you look like a two-headed monster, you guys. I feel like she's brought them into the deep woods and then would, like, sneak away and only she knows the way back. Because she's meant to feel like a naughty kid. I just feel bad when she, like, pranks everyone but here is the deep woods and here is the hermit's house i wish you could live here this feels like a vibey place to live however i don't think it would work but it is like the perfect place as a criminal if you lied low here no one would ever find you and you'd be surrounded by this prettiness the whole time. So while these two are doing cute little hugs and the like together, enjoying their nice new foresty place that they followed little Clem into, Clem is gonna come over. She's gonna give him a tease about his bravery and scare Kami, because she's gonna be like, oh, guess what, guys? I'm so sorry, but there's no way back home. Turns out we're here forever. Turns out we'll never get back home to moms because we're stuck out in the forest and you've got to become forest people. And we're gonna convince them that monsters are real the and she's like oh and guess what i felt i over in the trees just over there by the waterfall i saw a scary free-headed monster oh and just as she's doing all this jada jada quintanilla 
Who is the hermit in the woods has come over. Probably reassuring them both that, children, it's fine. If you need to escape from the deep woods, I can bring you back to your parents. And Clem just being kind of annoyed that her plan to prank them didn't work. So now, now she wants to wreck, wreck the forest. So despite the fact she got a bit closer to them over this weekend, she's just not very good at realizing that people don't want to be pranked all the time. They don't want to like, Pretend that they've lost their parents forever. So not doing such a great job of, you know, keeping that friendship alive. She's having a little cloud gaze here, back in her own imaginary world, because I feel like that's where she is the happiest of all. And I feel like while she's out here in the woods, as we're feeling inspired, I think we go ahead and give herself a little foresty makeover. So should I put some like mud on her cheeks or should I use the mud to make like a little animal nose? I think that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I low-key want to put her in this outfit and say, <laughs> and say that she's uh, going to go freak out her brother and sister again. Or a bear. I feel like if anyone's gonna have a bear phase, it's probably gonna be Clem. But it's more just I wanted to see her to use like mud to like give herself a little a little bear nose because I thought it would be pretty cute. And I feel like whilst Clem probably likes getting a bunch of gross mud with like snail slime on it and all that kind of thing and smearing on her face, Zach probably less so, but he doesn't get a choice in the matter. So at least we got a little bit of nice weather towards the end. These two looking like it takes off their custom eyes for some reason every time, but. Uh, looking like little woodland creatures with their little matching noses and their little flower crowns, which is so cute. Doing a bit of cloud gazing, although I think they were literally just almost attacked by an eagle there. These two realizing that they will get back home again because, oh, also get attacked by mosquitoes. Nice, but good hit. Because the forest hermit will take them back home and our little vacation weekend is coming to a close which i'm sure lila's gonna be very happy about because she is suffering from work withdrawals she does have two days of work coming up so i think i can probably Ooh, nice bird oh hello what kind of bird are you did i manage to pause in time oh this was the burb. Very cute. I think I can probably try and get her a promotion as well, which is great. I kind of want to find out like more about this little Bun Bun story. Like why is he such like a sad child? Like even now, Zach is just very sad. I don't know what goes on in Zach's life, but Zach is very, very sad. I'm gonna try to cheer him up by saying that we will be best friendos forever. Although I actually feel like the minute like someone comes along that is actually braver and more daring, and more on like Clem's, you know, mental level, then maybe she will want to hang out with them more instead. But I'm kind of rooting for her and Zach staying friends for life because I just think he's a nice, sweet, innocent kid. So all of the kids are currently almost halfway through their childhood lives. Is there anything else you would like me to make sure we get done whilst Clem is a child? We've already played pirate. We've built a tree house. We've gone camping. We've pulled a bunch of pranks, including pretending to our twins, brother and sister that we've taken them to the woods where they will be lost forever. What else can I do? What else of fun stuff shall I do while Clem is still a child? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We head back to the house tomorrow for another week of school. I kind of think that we could end up dropping to a D grade because we're going to keep stacking off at school. If anyone is using the Kawaii Stacy Better Schools mod and isn't messing up their game, please let me know because I really, really miss that mod, but I don't want to like mess with a bunch of stuff in my game by using it. But I really like being able to go to school and specifically like search out enemies or like learn specific talents and skills and all that kind of thing. So I do kind of miss that school mod. And I also want to ins uh, install like an after school mod as well because I don't know, I kind of want to get them all with their own individual like after school activities. Like maybe Tyler joins the swim team or like maybe Kami goes into like the drama club or like something like that I think would be really, really fun. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to try and add another sim to the Pyregids in the next episode as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed our little camping trip. I will see you guys in another episode of Not So Very. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!